Welcome to the best of WCW Clash of Champions DVD review. This DVD came out on May 22nd, 2012 and features over 24 great matches. This DVD is also available in Blu-ray format. Hosted by three-time world champion American Doom Dusty Rhodes. Kind of an interesting thing, the first uh, Clash of Champions, March 27, 1988, uh, rivaled WrestleMania 4. WrestleMania 4 was on pay-per-view and they did this on TBS for free. Yeah, so you had WrestleMania 4 on pay-per-view and you had uh, the Clash of Champions on free TV. So anyways, disc 1 the, the on uh, the, the DVD here, the best Clash of Champions, you have Ric Flair and Sting for the World Heavyweight Championship. This was in Greensboro, North Carolina. Great match. 45 minutes and Sting almost won the title. Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard, the Brain Busters, First Lex Luger, Barry Windham, just great wrestlers. Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard. This is all on disc one, by the way. Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard were Sting Dusty Rose, mega baby faces. Ricky Morton and Ivan Koloff in a Russian chain match. Violence. Ric Flair, Terry Funk. Um, I quit match. That was in Troy, New York in November of 1989. I will never forget that as long as I live. Male Mascaris, WWE. Hall of Famer versus Cactus Jack Manson, a.k.a. Mankind, who will be in the Hall of Fame this year. This is all on disc one. It's just absolutely loaded with material. And the Midnight Express and the Rock and Roll Express, who had one of the greatest wrestling feuds in the 80s. I mean, they sold out everywhere they went. Um, disc one is just loaded with old school WCW matches, especially Flair and Sting. It don't get much better than that in Greensboro, North Carolina. That match is a true classic. Okay, we're going to take a look at Disc 2 now. I just want you guys to look at some of these pictures. I mean, this was WCW's attempt to compete with the Ultimate Warrior in the WWF. Um, and some of these stars are featured here on Disc 2. I mean, this was their way of defeating with Hulk Hogan in the WWF, bringing RoboCop in. Give me a break. I mean, you have Tom Zink, and he's featured here on Disc 2. So I just kind of wanted you guys to get an idea of some of the wrestlers that are going to be featured here on Disc 2 and why WCW just couldn't compete. I mean, their talent was a joke. I mean, WWF had the Ultimate Warrior. Okay, let's take a look at Disc 2 while you guys look at Flair and Sting. Okay, so what's funny about this is WCW was really good in the NWA days. They got really bad in the early 90s. So disc 2 is the early 90s, which is the worst disc on here. And they got really good again in the late 90s, which is disc 3. Okay, so Ric Flair and Lex Luger, which was excellent, by the way. Um, I always liked the Luger and Flair. Young Pistols and Z-Man versus the Freebirds. Check out Michael Hayes. 15-man Battle Royal. I think Ellie Gante won that. Sting and Rick Rude. Can't, can't go wrong there. Ric Flair and Arn Anderson versus the Hollywood Blondes. Hollywood Blondes were sick. Brian Pillman versus Stunning Steve Austin at November 93, and that's when Stunning Steve was the heel, and, and they were trying to push Pillman as the face. But what doesn't make sense there is why they didn't keep them together. It's because they weren't supposed to get over. And Dusty Rhodes stands in a ring, and he tells you all about the stuff. Lord Steven Regal and Dustin Rhodes in a wrestling exhibition from Clash of Champions 94. And Sting and Ric Flair versus Rick Rude and Vader. And Rick Rude wouldn't be around much longer in the WCW after this. He suffered a severe injury, but he was a world champion at the t time. So I guess Disc 2 does have a little, a little juice behind it. But to me, it was the worst disc on the actual uh, set of three discs. Okay, before we start Disc 3, I just want to tell you guys right where we're at right now on our timeline. On this DVD, Dusty Rhodes is going to tell you pretty much about... I mean, he's not going to say it, but the early 90s was brutal. He was the booker, and it was brutal. The 94 thing started to change, and they got a lot better. They brought Hogan in in 94. So Disc 3 is going to feature pretty much all past 94. Actually, not a lot of the NWO stuff, because NWO was not really big on the Clash of Champions. They only were on two or three Clash of Champions... But I, I tell you guys, between 90 and 94, WCW was absolutely brutal. I enjoyed the good wrestling with Rick Rude and Sting, but Hogan came in in 94 and solidified them and kind of made the Clash of Champions a big deal again. So here in a second, we'll look at Disc 3. And Hogan did solidify WCW. So let's take a look at Disc 3. 
Okay, let's take a look at disc three. Now, some of the pictures you guys are about to see was 94 through, oh, somewhere in 99. So on disc three, Sting and Ric Flair, the unification match in 1994, which was a great match, and Flair wins and they unify the world titles. Stunning Steve and Ricky the Dragon, Clash of Champions, great wrestling. Hogan and Macho, they booed Hogan out the building in 95. Hogan and Macho versus Flair and the Giant from Clash 96. Um, uh, WCW before the NWO came out, it was just brutal. Medusa and Bull McConnell, not worth mentioning. Eddie Guerrero and Diamond Dallas, great, great. Harlem Heat Steiners versus Sting Alex Luger. Ultimate Dragon vs. Dean Malenko, great wrestling match. Chris Jericho vs. Eddie Guerrero, great ma match at The Clash. I think that was in 97, yep. Diamond Dallas Page and Lex Luger vs. Scott Hall Match Man, August 21st, 1997. That was in Milwaukee, 35th and Final Clash. So that's going to recap the three discs for now. But a lot of great wrestling ac action included in these 24 great matches. Okay, so to recap this... Um, you definitely want to pick this up for the old school WCW NWA footage that is very expensive and very hard to obtain. Like I said, disc one, you'll find the 80s, a bunch of great matches. Disc two, you'll find the early 90s, which is a part of wrestling history, whether you believe it or not. I mean, a lot of the stuff on there is brutal. I mean, Tom Zink is a tough guy to watch wrestle. I mean, it's a lot of stuff's real boring. But, I mean, something had to change. I mean, w I mean, just wrestling, period, in the early 90s was just brutal to watch. WWF and WCW. So, WCW was no exception. I mean, everyone, the big Vince McMahon steroid trial really slowed the wrestling world down, including WCW. So, disc three, you know, you're going to move forward to the Hogan days. And I like that this DVD um, had Dusty Rhodes explaining the Clash of Champions, considering it was his idea. Um, it was nobody else's idea but Dusty Rhodes. He, you know, came up with Clash, and he explains it, and he tells the stories, and Dusty Rhodes was always a, a master motivator. Um, so anyways, um, just to recap, the the highlights include the old matches, the, the, the brutal matches, and then when they got good again. So my recommendation to you would be to pick this DVD up, and if I was rating it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate it... Um, Eight. The only reason why I'm being a little selfish, I rate eight because I don't have the Blu-ray on this. I wish I had the Blu-ray. Um, I just have the regular DVD, which I'm actually going to show you here in just a second. I'm going to show you guys um, my particular DVD, and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. Please leave your comments below after I show you my DVD here in just a second. Okay, I just want to show you guys my live DVD that I have of this. I'm not just doing an audio recording and I'm full of shit, but here's the DVD and I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope you guys get a chance to go pick this up. Thank you.